Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy to be back. I've been really busy with life lately but I am happy to be back and do another video. Today we'll be doing something different. It is not an unboxing video, a review or any like anything like that. This is something different that I haven't done before. So I bought this. Um, Louis Vuitton Vernet business card online though the boutique is local I was able to pick this up and was able to see the condition in person um, I did not pay a lot for this so I decided to dye this today so prior to that I watched a bunch of videos and read articles and people like they redye their Vernet wallet and you know give them a new look and so I wanted to do that and just because you know i didn't pay a lot i won't feel guilty in case it doesn't turn out well i will show you guys the condition it is a pre-love business card wallet you can see uh, there's a lot of scratches the corners are um there are signs of use sorry so fast the inside a little bit of sign of use it's not very scratch the pockets though they're great i've been using this for the last three weeks and I love it but I wanted to give this a shot you know this process and I hope it will turn out good we'll see um, hope you guys enjoy watching this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel to see more of my videos so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the materials that I'm gonna be using for this video obviously the subject the wallet rags these are this is my old t-shirt and I cut them up and then the die, the dice, the I will be using the burgundy first and then the purple die and then let's see how it will turn out when it dries then I will be using this coat um, at the very end and then prior to that though we'll be using again also the nail polish remover to kind of remove the, the first layer or the coat this wallet have i heard that with a dye it won't um it won't cover the the varnish or the vernay of the wallet so let's go ahead and do the first step first step we are gonna grab our acetone the nail polish remover no just put a little bit amount of maybe another one and then just you know lightly rub rub the wallet with acetone just to kind of remove the first coating of this wallet so the dye will hold better and then the inside i'll be careful not to dye the non vernay material Alright, so I think I'm gonna do the outside first. Next, I will do the, I will use the burgundy color. This is the one. It comes with an applicator right here. I heard this is super runny. That's why I'm using this, you know, t-shirt and not my nice clothes because I don't want them get messed up. So first, I will be doing a, what do you call it, a long, I guess, motion. You said that it's super runny. I try to like squeeze it out because it's going to be a lot of dye in this applicator. Try to squeeze it out as much as possible. And then, you know what? Oh, I should have used <laughs> gloves. I'm going to put gloves on. So burgundy, long. I'm using two different colors to get the same original color of this wallet. I honestly forgot the name of the color of this. You know, I missed some spots, but I'm gonna go over that again. This is just the first layer. They said that to let it dry and then use the rag to wipe it down to remove the excess uh, dye and then there's 
some of them they're like group all grouped together like they're all pulling together and so you have to like use the rag to remove that i hope i'm making sense but this is what i've seen this is the process right i'm just glad that there's no other collar or there's no what do you call it leather strap anything attached to this that is not the same color because it's going to be so hard for me to not get that to, yep like this this one this part is kind of hard to do i need like a small paint brush that's what i heard use a small paint brush to cover that up those hard areas okay so i'm gonna let this dry I think I'm gonna get um, a small, um, what do you call it? Let's see. I want to get gloves and then this earbuds. Just a little bit so that I can, you know, do this part. very very gentle as much as possible Ooh. okay and then they said to grab their rag you know there's some areas that um what do you call it the the dyes are all grouped together um with the rag you can actually remove that and make it as you know even they said this one dries really fast so with this material dries pretty quick this thing they're like literally coming off and then they're on the wallet why you shouldn't that's not cool it's like on there what? This applicator is not good. I won't use that at all. I don't have other applicator because I thought this applicator is good. You can see. They said that it shouldn't though. Like why? I'm not liking that. So I was able to get all the fuzzies out, not all of them, out from this wallet. You know, this, the applicator, you know how that those fuzzy stuff there, they literally transferred into my wallet and it messed it up. I'm not going to use this. That one is not good. So I'm going to be using a paper towel. I hope this one will work. I'll just put a little bit of this like really a little bit and then it's a lot so let's see if this is better um, so let's go ahead and do that I think this is a better applicator so far so good if you guys can see that better it looks like there's no fuzzy stuff coming out from this um, paper towel so I use the the acetone the nail polish remover to remove all the fuzzy stuff and obviously the collar as well came off the dye you can see it here in my towel oops so long this one so far is not bad oops so seems like it's dry i'm just gonna do the the front part and then we'll work on slowly in the back just and then you grab your um it looks like it's ready grab uh your rag wipe it down this thing messed up the wallet literally i hate it like you can see it now that it's dry you can see like the fuzzy stuff there 
It wasn't there before. Oh my goodness. I have no idea that it will do this. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna turn out good already because of the fuzzy stuff. I'm pretty frustrated about this. If I knew I would have not used that. But I don't think it's gonna be a successful video because you can already see that the fuzzy stuff there. I am gonna try again to get this off the wallet using the acetone. Okay, you guys, I feel like I got the fuzzies out again for the second time. Okay, I don't know if it's the paper towel or the, the applicator for sure, but now I use paper towel and then they're back. So, so far it is no fuzzies. I can see no fuzzies. I'm gonna go ahead and use this rag to dye it and if it's if it does the same, then I don't know what's causing it, you know. But I can hear my fiance's home, so you guys, you're gonna hear him. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit, just a little bit, dab it, and then do that. Let's see. Oh, first layer again, first coat. So far, it's good. Okay, I don't see any fuzzies. This is the first coat. You can see the first layer. I have to let it dry. Well, I need to like get another rag and then kind of... Oh, this is causing the fuzzies. Ooh, when I wipe it down, I see it again. Oh, it's pro it's my shirt that caused it because I see it. Oh, okay, it's the t-shirt. So, usually you get a rag again to rub or remove all the dye that's all grouped together. But it seems like the shirt is not good because they're causing the fuzzies. I'm just gonna get a use the paper towel a little bit to see if it works better. So I'm gonna use this to remove that first layer. The thing about it is that you can always remove the color using the nail polish remover. But so that's the first layer looks good for me so I got all the fuzzies out let it dry for a little bit and I'm gonna do another layer coat and then go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and do an, the second layer and then I will use the what color is next the purple get another dye a nice um, long motion the burgundy and the purple they said that it will turn out to be the original color of this wallet I'm glad I wore the gloves so now I'm using the purple dye and then doing the same stroke with the first color kind of just do that I will do the same process with this one. I put two layers of each. I'm gonna go ahead and do the burgundy first because this one I'm letting this one dry. Um, I'm surprised how it, it dries that quick. Just like the dye is in there, you know. Ooh, I like that shiny, shimmering, splendid. I kind of like it. It's still shiny, you know. I after I put acetone, like I, I did acetone like three times because of the fuzzies, right? I have to take them out using the acetone, and then with the dye, four layers of dye, 
it's still pretty shiny it's looking good but it's not the same color as the original color it's close but not the same although i don't mind totally okay with that because like i said it's a project wallet i'll show you guys the finished product after 24 hours i have to let this dry for 24 hours and then we'll see there you go this is it hi guys i am back after two days of letting this wallet dry so i'll tell you guys about the process first part i did two layers of burgundy and then two layers of purple and then i let it dry for 24 hours and then i added another layer of burgundy and this is the final look you can see the scratches are still there the inside though looks great it's super shiny and the color is not what i was expecting it is more like brown and like black compared to the the original color that i wanted to go for at least similar i wanted to tell you guys about the two things that i've encountered or the problems that i encountered during this process so the applicator that comes with the dye was really really bad i i do not recommend using the applicator although the brand itself the dye itself is good is really really nice but not the applicator because the fuzziness was all over my wallet like they're all over it was so hard to to um remove that good thing i have acetone to to remove the fuzziness as well as i have encountered another problem the rag that i used which is my t-shirts was doing the same thing so the material was also all over the wallet i was also able to get that off using an acetone so you have to be very careful of the rag that you will use to remove the excess dye and use a different applicator when doing this process and also my overall thoughts with this i will not recommend doing this unless your reasons are reasonable like the reason why i did this because i wanted to see if dyeing your vernay wallet or handbag like works like if the dye will stick to this material which it did also i did not pay a lot for this so i i was okay doing this process but if you're doing this because you wanted to cover up all the signs of abuse or the scratches i do not recommend this because they're still here like all the scratches are there it did not cover it up but if your reason is that you wanted to change the color different then do it but you have to be very very careful like i said because it's such a messy process and then at the same time you are a hundred percent sure that you wanted to do this but i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please comment down below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good night i'm ready for bed bye bye